Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Taz and Escape from Mars for the Sega Genesis, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now this is gonna be, well, one of the other Christmas special games that I selected for 2014. Well, the 2014 Christmas special, which is ironically games I'll be doing in 2015, which is this year, of course. So this is pretty much one of those short projects compared to all the other seven games, which are probably going to be much longer. But in order to win the Christmas special, you had to get eight games in a straight line, and one of the games in that straight line was this one. I've heard a lot of things about this game being extraordinarily hard and probably cheap. So I'll do my best to get through it. I can't make any guarantees I'll get through it without a fuss. So, let's get started. I did play a Taz game before, and that was like Tasmania. Though it wasn't really a Let's Play, it was more like just a simple playthrough. Alright, so here's my controls. Press A to use an action, which is probably like eating something. B is your spin attack, which you'll be using a lot, and C is to jump. Alright. I think we'll do this. This is pretty much a blind playthrough. I've never practiced this game before, and I'm sure I'll be regretting it. Music sounds a bit low. So let me fix that. There we go. Rare Earth Creatures! <laughs> Marvin Martian wants something for a zoo. And there's absolutely nothing. So, you got invisible people, which are... You know, like, intelligent politicians and stuff. But he's looking for a Tasmanian Devil! Which looks exactly like Taz. Because they pretty much all look the same. Huh? Uh-oh! Ah, uh, it's a Galaga from Smash Brothers! What do I do? <laughs> Alright, so we're already on Mars now. Which is also a name for an awesome chocolate bar. And they just put him in a crate. Wow. I hope they put air holes in there, even though he's practically in space, and I'm pretty sure Mars doesn't have oxygen. Okay, so we'll be having to use the spin attack an awful lot. The reason why I'm not really a fan of how this game goes is when you're spinning, you're spinning too fast. And chances are you'll be destroying stuff. Box of rocks, okay. Taz will literally eat anything. So now you can use the A button to shoot rocks by spitting them out. Though you'll pretty much be relying on your spin attack an awful lot. Also, if you spin into food, apparently you will destroy the food. So be very careful when you're using the spin attack. Well, because, you know, that'll happen. Because, you know, Taz will eat the bone, so maybe that's kind of saving his life. Yeah, you died too. Spin attack is practically OP against many enemies. Like, they can't really resist that. Like that, see? Oh, I want that uh, med kit there. Even though I took minimal damage, I like to keep it full. Because God knows how much cheap stuff you're going to be running into later on. He'll eat a first aid kit! I'm pretty sure there's lots of stuff there that can hurt you if you eat it. Okay, these statues over there are checkpoints, so... For some reason I could not spin even though I pressed the button. Okay, I gotta be more careful. Grow Ray? Sure. Now, I can't spin, but I'm invincible anyway, so it doesn't matter. Giant Taz are to destroy you, even though I don't look all that menacing. I look more like a buffoon, but still. Uh, I can't go up? Really? That sucks. So much for backtracking. There was probably not nothing that awesome in there anyway. Maybe health, but damn it. But I'm already full. Also, I don't think you should eat that. Watch. Yeah, you take damage when you eat something that's explosive. Also, if you hold down and jump, like to do the whole contra thing, you'll be able to like drop down that. Which is pretty cool for the most part. And you can also, like, hold down to be able to see what's below you. You know, for those leaps of faith, you'll know just to do that and you'll be fine. 
Okay, there's another med kit over there. I just want to, like, do a double take to see that it's not where I was before. Hmm. I think that just makes me spin a bit faster. Um. How the hell do I get past this? I think I have to take this path. I should not have taken damage there, but I guess if I was using a range attack, I had no choice in the matter. We got dinosaurs in here! What the hell? This is one awesome uh, zoo. Why do you need a Tasmanian Devil if you got that? Nice to know they have fruit baskets in Mars. Because that's the thing that's going to keep you alive. What is that noise? Is that the gas? Oh yeah! With the gas, you can spit fire. Okay, that's cool. And I'll eat the exit sign, and that's how you finish the level. Alright. Now, I believe there are six worlds in the game, and obviously we're on the first one. I gotta get used to the control still, so it'll be a work in progress. Let me provide these platforms to the top. Well, that's as far as I was gonna get, apparently. Don't want to jump on that, because, well, spikes hurt you. In almost every game. Known to man. This is no different. Jumping feels a bit weird, though. Like, as soon as you let go of the direction, you're still kinda going in that direction. Like, you're gradually stopping, but you still have some momentum that's gonna send you flying. So the jumping gets... No, no, whoa, that was close. Yeah, when you spin into enemies, sometimes that will happen. That could have been disastrous. Now, what's up here that I could use? Okay, bombs. I definitely don't want them. And I don't want steam in the face, either. Oh yeah, you can do this. Like, go along walls and keep going. You know, let just land on your head, you know, that doesn't really bother Taz at all, and that was dumb. They put a med kit right there on a broken part of the pipe. That's kind of cheap. Because of the damage I took. Check a point! Oh. Get rid of that so I don't eat it by accident. Now, I believe I should go down to find something, like a shrink ray. Because I believe there is something there waiting for me. Like if I go all the way over here? No, I gotta go up, I believe. Okay, that should not have happened, but okay. Nope, nope! Oh, that's, that's kind of lame. I think I should have, like, stayed shrunk. Is there a way for me to go over there? No. So I missed out on a continue. And there is a trick where you can just keep grabbing continues until you die, and then you'll be able to get more. So, I guess I won't be able to exploit that trick. That's kind of lame, but at the end of the day, you know, this is like a blind let's play, so to speak. Well, blind dish, I might get some practice now and then. No. I'm trying to get up here. So I can do this. Get some fruit, and a loaf of bread. <laughs> How do they maintain their com their actual form, like in pretty much this kind of environment? It looks like we're in space, we're crying out loud. So, there's literally, like, no air. Well, I guess with no oxygen, it can't get moldy, so I guess that's a good thing. I mean, by the time you react to enemies, it could be too late because of how the camera scrolls. Ah, that's bull damage right there. Mmm, hamburgers. Like, he'll literally eat anything, and his stomach is just so empty. Like, he can just keep going at infinitum to eat and eat and eat. Because that's what Taz does. Oh, gotta grab that turkey there. By the time you react, it's too late. Because there's too much going on at once. Oh, you ain't getting me. 
That's a uh, bomb there. I definitely don't want to eat that. That'll probably kill me or do a lot of damage. Why can't he just walk around to the other side? Why does he have to eat the sign? Oh, this is the boss, isn't it? Okay, let's do this. Okay, you basically gotta do this to avoid the tentacles. And in terms of these little spiky balls, they're they're quite easy to dodge. And pretty soon it'll rear up its ugly head, then you just do this. I don't know if it always goes in the same direction all the time, but we'll just pretend it does. So start left and then go right. Oh. Likely they pretty much fall in the same spot, so you should be fine. As long as you're ahead of the curve, you won't be taking damage. Oh, that was still going. I think it goes the exact same speed as you do. No, you go a little bit faster than the tentacle. So this is kind of an easy first boss. I mean, all you have to do is just hit this thing. Well, what was that? It's like I was just running in place. Oh, here we go. Yeah, if, if you let go of the direction, sometimes that'll happen. You'll just drop and cancel out your spin. So you gotta hold in the direction that you're going. So you'll be fine. I don't know why I always make that jump there. There, we did it! Very easy first boss. Then we can go on to the next world. Okay, there is an air hole in there, I just looked. Mole world! Okay, this should be fun. So, I avoid capture by getting trapped again. That doesn't make sense. Eventually, this will send me to Earth. Alright, I'm gonna stop the video right here. This is gonna be a short video because I'm probably gonna do like one world per video. So, in the next episode, we'll be taking on Mole World. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.